What's up, everybody? This is Park from the Fast Foodies, and I'm back with yet another nut butter review. Today, we're actually gonna be trying out not one nut butter, no, two nut butters. Why two? Well, because two nut butters are better than one nut butter, and more importantly, they are both maple flavored. We're gonna be trying out maple peanut butter and maple with candied walnuts peanut butter. Now, both of these flavors are actually new. They're part of the four new flavors that Falcon Nuts just launched. Besides these, they also released a, what was it? Oh, a cinnamon crumb flavor, cinnamon crumble, I think it's called, which I'll be, I think I'm gonna review that one on the bike while I'm doing a training session. So definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see that one. And the last flavor was a Butterfinger Bar peanut butter. I mean, I think that just sounds delicious. But back to these two flavors. We have maple and maple with candied walnuts. I love maple syrup. I love peanut butter. Hope I'm gonna love these, but there's only one way to find out. I got my tasting spoon. Let's start with the original first. In the jar look, on um, the spoon look, Man. Now, if you guys have been subscribers of this channel, you guys all know how much I love my sweet and salty. I've had quite a few sweet and salty flavored items in the past. I think my favorite sweet and salty flavored combination is probably peanut butter and honey. Man, that gets me every time. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite sweet and salty flavored item or combination is, but I think this maple syrup and peanut butter may take the spot for my favorite sweet and salty flavor combination. I mean, the saltiness of the peanut butter makes that sweetness of this maple syrup just stand out so much. Oh boy. And then, that sweet maple syrup flavor brings out that peanut butter flavor that I love just so much. That's why I do all these nut butter reviews. Honestly, my only critique I have of this is the texture. It's not crunchy, it's a smooth peanut butter. For ratings, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Now on to the one that I think is just gonna blow my mind, especially after trying this. Maple with candied walnuts. As you guys just heard, the only critique I had of the maple flavored peanut butter was that it was smooth, it wasn't crunchy. And I'm really hoping that these candied walnuts add that crunch that I was looking for. In the jar look, on the spoon look, that is Fire! Honestly, this has, it almost has it all. It does have that crunch, but I'm finding that, I think the pieces of walnuts in here are just a little bit too small for me. You know, when you get that crunchy, that classic crunchy Jif peanut butter, the pieces of peanuts in there, they're nice and big. Really bring a big crunch to the peanut butter. In here, as I mentioned, I'm getting some type of crunch, but it's just not on the same level as the crunchiness of that classic Jif crunchy peanut butter. But flavor-wise, it's just as good. Maybe not, it's probably even better than the OG and maple flavor because you're also getting the flavor of the walnut in here as well, which, or walnut, walnuts in here as well, which, plays nicely with that base peanut butter and maple as well. For ratings, I'm not gonna give this a 10 out of 10 just because the crunchiness isn't quite there for me, but it's pretty darn close. I'm giving this a 9.5 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the two new maple peanut butters from Fokken, F-O-K-K-E-N Nuts. If you did, I'd appreciate a, a thumbs up and definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button for the review of the cinnamon crumble peanut butter, which I mentioned 
I will probably be doing during a training session on the bike. And last but not least, the Butterfinger Bar one, which I think might just get a perfect score. But you're gonna have to wait till that review to find out and I'll see you. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you wanna hear more, check out Fast Foodies Podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.